जय हिंद स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू हाउ टू राइट हिंदू अरेबिक न्यूमरल्स इन रोमन न्यूमरल्स बट बिफोर वी स्टार्ट दिस सेशन चिल्ड्रन ऑलवेज लर्न टू राइट द फर्स्ट फोर रोमन न्यूमरल्स ऑन योर राइट साइड ऑफ द पेज वेर यू आर राइटिंग द आंसर फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल राइट फोर इन रोमन न्यूमरल्स स्टेप वन राइट फर्स्ट फोर सिम्बल्स ऑन राइट कॉर्नर ऑफ द नोटबुक एज आई रिटर्न आई वी एक्स एल एंड यू नो आई इज इक्वल टू वन वी इज इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स इज इक्वल टू टेन एंड एल इज इक्वल टू फिफ्टी यू कैन नॉट मेक एनी कॉम्बिनेशन अपार्ट फ्रॉम दीज फोर सिम्बल्स Now you have to make combinations of numbers to get four, either by adding or subtracting. Most important, you cannot have any other number in combination other than one, five, ten, fifty. Recollect all the rules. Let's try your first combination. Can we write four with these combinations? One plus one plus one plus one. No. Why? Because one or I cannot be used more than three times. So what do I do? Are you confused? Now let's take another combination. My next combination can be four is equal to five minus one. We have only four numbers that we can take in combination: one, five, ten, and fifty. Symbol for five is B, and for one is I. Since five is greater than one, therefore I will be written to the left of V. Therefore, four is equal to five minus one. Subtraction means smaller symbol to be written on the left of the bigger symbol. Therefore, the Roman numeral for four is I V. Let's take another example. Let us write sixteen in Roman numerals. Again, my first step is write all the four symbols on the right corner of your notebook. Now you have to make combination of numbers to get sixteen, either by adding or subtracting. Now here very important is you have to split the number in tens and ones. Then it will become more easy. More important is that you cannot have any number in combination other than one, five, ten, and fifty. Recollect all the rules. Let's check. Now, combination for sixteen can be when we split into tens and ones, so it will be ten plus six. But six, as such, doesn't have a symbol. I have only I, V, X, and L. So six has to be splitted in five plus one, isn't it? Now, V is smaller than X, so it will be written to the right of X. Hence, we are adding, and I is smaller than V. So, so if you see, sixteen is equal to ten plus six. Ten plus six can be written as five plus one, and since they all are adding, so on the right of X we have V, and on the right of V we are having I. So the symbol for sixteen is X V I. Eureka! Got it. Let's take another example. Nineteen. Break it into tens and ones. Do not forget to write all the four symbols on the right side of your copy. So once we have broken or splitted nineteen into ten plus nine, we see there is a symbol for ten, but for nine we don't have a symbol. So which combination should I take? To make it nine, it can be ten minus one. So ten plus ten minus one. So for ten, x will be written. Since we are adding, so the next combination will come to the right of x. Now ten minus 
1. Then is x minus 1 means i to be written on the left of the second x. Therefore, my symbol for 19 will be x i x. The symbol for 19 is x i x. Children, please do not read x i x as 10 plus 1 plus 10. That is equal to 21. Because while adding a symbol, you have learned that a smaller symbol is always written to the right of a greater symbol. So this symbol is for 19 and not for 21. One more example of 27. Write all the four symbols on the right of your notebook. Now 27 split into tens and ones. It will be equal to 20 plus 7. Now which combination should I take to make 20? 10 plus 10. And for 7, 5 plus 1 plus 1. Now for 10, it is x. Since we are adding another 10, it will be written to the right of x, a second x. Plus 5, v, again on the right of x. Plus 1, right of v. Plus 1 on the right of V. So the symbol for 27 is X, X, V, I, I. Wow, wasn't that easy? Keep revising. Are you finding it interesting? Let's take one more example. 39. Again, write all the symbols on the right side of your notebook. 39 can be split into 30 plus 9. 30 can be written as a combination of 10 plus 10 plus 10. And 9 can be written as 10 minus 1. Now 10 plus 10 plus 10. They are all adding. Therefore we have written x, x and x. Now 10 minus 1 is x and I on the left side. Since we are adding this, so it will come to the right of the third x. So x, 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 i, x. Last example, 44. Again, write all the four symbols on the right side of your notebook so that it will keep reminding you that we cannot write any other symbol than these four. Now 44 can be written as 40 plus 4. 40 is 50 minus 10. I cannot write 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 because any symbol cannot be repeated more than 3 times. So now my next combination of 440 will be 50 minus 10. And for 4 it will be 5 minus 1. Now since we are subtracting 10 from 50. So x will be written to the left of L. L is a symbol for 50. And since we are subtracting 1 from 5, so i will be written to the left of V. And when we are adding them up, so it, the symbol will be x, L, i, V. Did you enjoy learning this? Was it an easy learning? Great. Children, just revise this and a worksheet will be followed after this presentation. And after the worksheet, you be ready on our next session that will be on changing Roman numerals to Hindu Arabic numerals. Thank you.